Hello everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the next game review, and this is a game that I will admit, this review is nearly 10 years late. Yes guys, if you all can believe that, this game came out almost 10 years ago. October 7th, 2014, this game was released, and I figured that, you know what, since that we're coming up on the 10th anniversary of this particular game, and since that the latest with the franchise, Alien Romulus, was released, I figured it was the perfect time to talk about what can be considered, what could be considered, I should say, as probably amongst the best Marvel horror games ever made. For today's review, I'm here to talk about Alien Isolation. This is a game that came out, like I said, nearly 10 years ago, and it's a game that I actually did not purchase at first because at the time being, I had heard some things about this game when it was first released, but I didn't really pay attention to the game until I saw Angry Joe's review. Then I decided to rent this game about 10 years ago when it first came out, and man, let me say this right now. When I first put this game 10 years ago, I thought this game was absolutely fucking terrifying to say the least. Not only am I a massive Alien fan, but at the same time, this game just did something that I thought was very, very well done, especially for the survival horror job. Before I continue on with today's video, I just wanted to say, welcome to my channel, everybody. For those of you who are coming by my channel for the very first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to down miss a future video or it's a future review, reaction, top five, or whatever I've coming your way, and join me on my journey to 10k subscribers and beyond, because believe me when I say this, guys, you are not going to miss the cool shit I have coming your way. And for those of you who are coming back to my channel, welcome back. You have no idea how happy I'm to see your faces once again. Getting into the plot of Alien Isolation, in Alien Isolation, this game takes place about 15 years after the events of the original Alien film, and in the game, you follow and you play as Amanda Ripley, the daughter of, as you can imagine, Ellen Ripley. Amanda Ripley has been investigating the disappearance of her mother, Ellen Ripley, and she is assigned the task to join a couple of others aboard the space station called the Sevastopol, which unfortunately has fallen to disarray due to, as y'all can imagine, a xenomorph on the loose. Also, really quick, everybody, before I continue on this review, I just want to let you all know that the footage they are seeing is captured on an Xbox Series X, which, by the way, besides PC, is the best place to play this game because mainly the 60 FPS frame boost. Thank you, Xbox, for doing that. This is a game that I've dabbled in and out of over the subsequent years of its release, and every time I've played this game, I always get sucked back into it. And guys, now, nearly 10 years later, I am very happy to say that not only this game holds up, but guys, it is time to get into why I believe that Alien Isolation just might be, if not, the best game made in the Alien universe. <laughs> Starting off with everything that I liked and or loved about this game, I gotta talk about the most important thing about this game, and that is the incredible sense of atmosphere. The moment that you get on to the Sevastopol, this is a game that just engulfs you and immerses you in this dark, lo-fi analog atmosphere that includes low lighting, terrific sound design, and not to mention it as well, you literally feel as if you're stepping into the world of the Alien franchise, but sp stepping into specifically the world of Alien. Not Aliens, which is by the way one of the greatest horror action films ever made, but Alien. Even though this game does take a little bit to get to when you finally see the Xenomorph Alien for the first time, this game is a game that literally from the moment they step onto that space station, it just, you immediately feel that there is something wrong, obviously, because you know it's an alien game. Otherwise, why wouldn't you be feeling the way you were playing this game? This game is a tension-filled game that will constantly have you on the edge of your seat with not only like i said to you guys earlier with not only incredible atmosphere but incredible sound design and with terrific i mean impeccable 
art direction. This is a game where literally stealth is golden. Like put this game like Metal Gear Solid, and I'm pretty sure you you will do fine in this game to say the least. Especially guys, when you get your hands on the motion tracker, that motion tracker adds so much more attention because guys it's the motion tracker which still to this day will get yours and mine to say the least my heart racing like never before <laughs> and that's mentioned as well guys so this game not only features great tension but it has terrific and i mean terrific jump scares there are a couple of jump scares into which i swear to god you'll hear the sounds of either the alien or people or maybe even the bishops the working the, the working androids walking around but especially the alien you have your motion tracker you're trying to run and then out of nowhere you hear the sounds only for the alien to come right behind you and just to do the <laughs> That may have been not the right sound effect. That sounded more like a cat, but you guys get my point. <laughs> One of my favorite things, if not my favorite thing about Alien Isolation is this. This game is, at its core, a survival horror game. And here's the thing, guys. Alien Isolation is pure survival horror. In a certain way, Alien Isolation kind of feels like that game Outlast, but in space to a certain degree. Where in Outlast... You are just trying to run away, trying to hide from the people that are trying to kill you. Alien Isolation does have some combat. I mean, some combat. There's some combat involving the stump baton. You do get a revolver, and you also do get your hands on a flamethrower. But here's the thing, guys. This is a game that encourages you more than anything else to stay hidden more than anything else and to that end that is the reason why i compare this game to essentially outlast but pretty much in space alien isolation is a game that encourages you to avoid every single confrontation if you possibly can only saying okay do combat if you absolutely must do combat because here's the thing this is a game that if you must do combat you better be ready otherwise you are going to die i mean you will die Fast. Another particular reason why I absolutely love Alien Isolation is a particular aspect of it about this game that that was genius. If you guys owned the game when it originally came out specifically on the PS4 and the Xbox One, and specifically, even more so, if you had to connect to the PlayStation camera and if you enabled the microphone on that thing, this game would use the microphone on those devices as a way to encourage you to essentially shut the fuck up and that is legitimately the most best way i could play because otherwise guys if you talk near a hostile human an android or even an alien for that matter they could actually hear you in some ways i can imagine why it may add to some frustration but for me personally i find that that mechanic only adds that much more tension especially to the immersion of alien isolation something else that i cannot believe i haven't mentioned yet and that is the graphics and the art direction this game almost 10 years later guys i gotta say all right now still holds up and it looks so freaking cool seeing the analog devices and seeing all the lo-fi all the technology that was built into the original Alien film brought into the Alien Isolation game. This game just looks so freaking cool and the lighting looks just B-E-A-U-T-Full. There is a particular sequence to which if you guys have played this game you know what I'm talking about but it is a sequence where I believe your ship is just slowly going by you as you're in this big room and seeing how the lighting hits the room that you're in it generally looks absolutely terrific. There are many aspects about the skin that I could praise, but if there's one more thing that I gotta praise about Alien Isolation, the enemy AI is something that I must talk about. The enemy AI in Alien Isolation is some of the smartest AI I have ever encountered in a video game. I mean, guys, no joke. Nearly 10 years later, the AI in this game some of the smartest i've ever encountered especially from that damn alien guys no joke the alien in this game is not only smart and ruthless but my god i'm telling you guys right now 
you're going to want to do everything in your freaking power to ensure that when that thing is near you, just stay as quiet and as still as you possibly can. Because if you do just the wrong thing, I mean, this the littlest thing that is wrong, you are screwed. The AI in this game is not only brilliant and smart and ruthless, but some of the best I've ever encountered without a doubt. Ah! God damn it! Do I think that Alien Isolation is one of the greatest video games ever made? For me, I do not. It's still a terrific game with that being said, but do I find this to be one of the greatest video games ever made? Unfortunately not. One of the biggest criticisms, as a matter of fact, my biggest issue with this game is sometimes, or actually quite a bit of the time, the backtracking of this game. The backtracking of Alien Isolation can be, simply put, an absolute annoying pain and the fucking ass because here's the thing guys alien isolation in a way is a open third person sort of a horror game where it takes place on this big ship in which you can explore rooms but here's the thing guys alien isolation is one of those games into which it gives you goals right like it gives you places where you should go to get like a certain item or to meet a certain person right but then let's just say you get to that one place and then the game tells you oh you gotta go back there but here's the thing that location is literally at the exact opposite place that you're at which constantly happens really quite a bit and to that end the backtracking in this game can be really freaking annoying like guys no joke there have been at least a couple of times i can name off the top of my head where i was doing a mission or i was trying to go to a certain place and then as soon as i did so the game was like oh now i gotta go back to the exact opposite side of the ship and i kept on going like guys you gotta be kidding me i was oh and man i gotta tell you all right now because of that one aspect be ready to try and look for every save system and every save area possible because if you do not do so and if you die you're gonna be screwed you're gonna be very very frustrated and annoyed which brings me to the next thing guys the save system in this game could be quite unforgiving as if i remember correctly guys there's not really a checkpoint system unless you get during specific bigger areas in this game or trying to get to a certain aspect otherwise guys you best know where there's a save station because if you do not and if you do not save often there are sections of this game where you'll lose significant progress like for example guys on my most recent playthrough guys i'm not even kidding there was a bit where i thought i was doing the right thing and i was trying to try to get back to a certain area i died and no joke guys i lost nearly an hour of gameplay guys i'm telling you it could be that much of a pain in the ass and that guys brings me on to my next criticism which for me is a criticism but i can understand if some people absolutely love this about this game alien isolation at times can be brutally and i mean brutally difficult and not just because of the save system in this game and the checkpoint system to which the checkpoint and the save system can be kind of frustrating and brutally unforgiving but due to that ai there are times in this game where man if you are not careful, you will die, and I mean you will die a lot. And also, something else I gotta talk about is the crafting system. Alien Isolation does have a crafting system, and it makes sense because you are an engineer, but the crafting system, it's kind of a pain in the ass. And the UI for the crafting system isn't particularly great. Now, I will say this right now. This criticism isn't really a huge one, but it is something that is very annoying and I have to point out. So overall, despite my issues, Alien Isolation, while I don't consider this to be one of the greatest video games ever made, at the same time, do I think it could be considered in the discussions for one of the best formal horror games ever made? Absolutely. freaking lutely Alien Isolation not only has an incredible atmosphere, it's a tension-filled game, it's eerie, it has great art direction, it has terrific sound, the enemy AI is some of the smartest I have ever played against in a game, but most importantly, this game is pure horror, almost at its very 
finest. Alien Isolation is such an excellent game, and once again, guys, considering that this game is nearly 10 years old, if you haven't played this game, I highly suggest you play this game because, man, it is a damn good one. All in all, I'm gonna give Alien Isolation an 8 out of 10. If you're a massive Alien fan, how what you're doing right now, and pick up this game and play it and get ready for one of the best horror games ever played. It is that freaking good. I hope you all enjoyed my review of Alien Isolation. If so, press the like button, or if you dislike the review, hit the dislike button. If you guys want to see my previous two reviews, please click to the left or right side of the screen. And of course, until my next review or video goes live, I will see you all next time. <laughs>